Very interesting po ang ating mga kapanayam dito po sa ating ikwento mo. Ako po inyong kaibigan Simpapawid, ang inyong kuya nono, ay inyong Direk Rene. At ito pong ating uh, makakapanayam ay ang kanilang negosyo back in the Philippines ay nasa retail. Pero nung pumunta po siya dito sa Aotearoa, New Zealand, iba po ang kanyang naisip na itayong negosyo. Siya po ay nagtatag ng isang tinatawag nating spa, massage and wellness clinic. Alamin po natin ang kwento ni Wela Ranghel dito sa Ikwento Mo. This might come as a surprise to you guys, but the Wela that you see now is the, the Wela five years ago. I wouldn't have looked like this. I wouldn't have talked like this. I'm scared to talk to people. I'm really very shy. But for some reason, I just thought, you know, like life has always been a cycle. And as a woman, you know, we have stigmas, we have expectations from a society and our culture and I thought I don't want to fit in you know like we are all growing old and I want there's like a light bulb moment so I thought like okay I need to do something different I need to change I need to do something that if I was on my deathbed you know something that you would remember these things that you cannot buy but you know these are the I think these are the most important things in life so I started my journey as a woman what I did was to show everybody that um, being beautiful is not just because I was always told like you've got a beautiful heart you've got a beautiful heart you're so fine but then people around us have a different definition of beauty and so I thought like that's quite unfair and so I thought like okay beauty doesn't have to have labels so then I began my campaign the first thing I did was to encourage all my workmates so I used to be very big back then and I kind of like plump up a little bit And so I joined Mrs. New Zealand and I believe it or not, I won Mrs. New Zealand um, People's Choice Award. I was pretty much liked by everybody. Well, that's the result. But then um, that's that's how I came to, um, how do I say this? Spread to people, spread to women especially that beauty is not of race, of religion, of age, of demographics it's just nothing no labels just be you accept you and we are all beautiful as we are so I thought okay this so this business actually isn't a business this business have a heart and this is why this is very important to me this this is not just an ordinary spot I'm just on my um, beginning I'm just starting out it's actually meant to be an empowerment spot it's meant to empower women to give confidence Because five years back then, I asked myself, I said, oh my God, where can I buy confidence? Is there a school to enroll? But no, there's no school for that. I actually had to kick, scream, cry. I doubted myself. It was a whole road of self-discovery. It was really very hard until I got to this point. And that is why, to me, it's very important that maybe, you know, sometimes women not they don't lose it they just become so nurturing and loving to the point they forget themselves and that is why this is why i come in i want to remind them that hey you know you're still worth something you still can do so much more you know you finished giving your kids your husband all the love that you have you know it's time to take care of yourself so you can give more that's that's the message of this to be honest this business isn't my forte this is not what i'm really good at back home we have a retail business it's, it's really successful it's been going on for 50 years now but i thought i'd dive into this because it's actually my passion i've discovered my passion is to actually change people's lives in a good way and in a way you know when i'm in my deathbed and old i would you know i don't want what ifs So I'd rather fail. I'd rather know that I failed than to lie there and think about it until I die. What if I did this? Ooh, I might be this or that. But no, I just want to find out the answer. I mean, look, if I fail, it's still a success because not all people can actually actualize their goals. You know, you write your goals, oh, this is my goal. But then, Not, not all people can come to work it out as physically work it out. So to me, even if I fail, I still succeeded because I've done it regardless.